This Let's Play was supported by these awesome hobby companies. Hi everybody, welcome to Let's Play Conquest. I am joined by uh, Leo and Constantinos from Parabellum. Guys, I'm excited. <laughs> I've been waiting to play this one because we're getting to play with the new Dwagon faction. Yeah, it's great. it's great. Now it's the the first game that we're going to be playing that we're going to be showing the game like uh, seeing the Dwegom, seeing the Ballista, the Warriors, the Drag, the Drake, the Berserkers, mm -hmm. and they're talking about so a lot of exciting new stuff. Yeah, now this one is more to show off the abilities of the actual uh, units in mm -hmm. the army, and it's it's not Leo trying to crush me into the ground. You know, maybe as much as you'd want to. Maybe a little bit. Oh, come on. Maybe Be nice. Bit. Which is why I'm here, Justin. <laughs> All right, you got I'm going to make sure, yeah, I'm going to make sure that this <laughs> arrogant <laughs> person here... Individual. <laughs> individual yeah. is going to get what's coming to him. All right, well, let me clear the dice out of this. Ah, and we'll get started. So, Perfect. Uh, We've got ourselves all set up. We're in a nice little winter wonderland, you mm -hmm. know, just outside of a Dwagam hold. Mm -hmm. And I have to say, the Dwagam look absolutely gorgeous whenever you see them on the tail. I love the big drake. Perfect. All right. So a little bit to recap, just for those who uh, who haven't watched other games before. Mm -hmm. uh, Conquest is a game that when it starts, we start with nothing on the table, right? Mm -hmm. Now we assume that the battle has gone on, uh, mm -hmm. and to, to show the, to show the the Dwagam, mm -hmm. right? And uh, our objective for the day is to really go to town and try to destroy as many enemy regiments as we can. Gotcha. Gotcha. Let's we see have we uh, three do. three uh, rounds to do it, mm -hmm. and best of luck to both of you. All right, gentlemen, uh, please shake hands. Please shake hands. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Okay, watch the kidney punches, rabbit punches. <laughs> all right, good clean fight. So uh, <laughs> before we roll off to see who goes first, what I'd like you to do, I'd like you to pick up all of your cards, including the automata that uh, you, okay. they're, they're currently in reserves. Now my brood drones are in reserves. Mm -hmm. So let's see. I would like to remind everyone that the rules are. They're actually available to download on our site. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if we get anything wrong, you can fact check <laughs> and uh, you know, sink the two in a little. <laughs> so let's see if, if the strategy I spent all, all night thinking about will work. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> He's not kidding. He is like that. All right, I've got my order. Perfect. All right, so let's roll off to show who goes first. Okay. Low is good. So Low is good. Roll the six, you roll the one, yeah. oh, and you go first. Out of shot. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I'll be going first. Perfect. So I flip my card. The first thing I'm having go right. is my high school or my whole warriors. Perfect. Now every time we draw a card, uh, we activate that regimen, mm -hmm. and we can take two actions with it. Mm -hmm. uh, you can pre-measure in this game, yeah? Absolutely. All right. So they have a movement of four, and if I want to charge, you are currently. Oh, you're over eight away, so I can't really reach you. Now, uh, one of the good thing is in here. Uh, one of the things that we're showing today is not just the Dragon, but also some of the upgrades that mm -hmm. all regiments actually have access mm -hmm. to, right? Uh, two of those being the Stana Bear mm -hmm. uh, and the Leader. Yep. Now, uh, how far away you said you were? Uh, over eight. Over eight. All right. So having a march of four, mm -hmm. that means you would need a five uh -huh. to successfully charge. Uh -huh. However, given that you have the Stana Bear, you get to re-roll the charge distance, so you get a little bit of a better shot. Yeah, it's it's also one of the the tactical balances to the game mm -hmm. is do I make a march and then charge and not get to fight just to make sure I'm in there? I think I'm going to risk it. All right, I'm okay. Go for the charge. So let's see. You you'll, you'll need a five with a reroll. Okay. That's a six. Nice. No problem. Bosh. We already. All right. Perfect. Okay. So now what we're trying to do is that we want to move the least di distance uh, needed in order to engage as many enemy stands. Yeah. Now, as you're doing this, let me uh, s let me say that uh, an engaged stand is a stand that is in contact with an enemy with an enemy stand, mm -hmm. and that that also uh, is the case for stands that are in contact diagonally. Okay. So right. All in. Perfect. Now you now, as the first action, you charged. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. And now you have one action remaining. In this case, I'm assuming that that oh, will be a, a, a withdrawal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was gonna play. What about the, your strategy now? Play the kiting you? game, like charge me and just no. <laughs> All, right, All right. So so I look at my attack stat. Each guy gets one. That's right. So uh, the first thing we want to check is how many engaged stands we have. And in this case, mm -hmm. we have three engaged stands that has uh, four uh, warriors each. Mm -hmm. So that's twelve attacks. And now the the back rank. Uh, 
is uh, has two stands, both mm -hmm. of which are unengaged because they're not in contact with the enemy right. uh, stand. So that so what that means is that they support with one attack per stand. One per stand. Gotcha. So in this case, you get fourteen attacks. Okay. Now you have a clash of two. Mm -hmm. uh, you get a plus one inspiration bonus because you successfully charge as your previous action. Mm -hmm. So that means you go up to clash of three, and you want to roll equal to or less than that. Okay. So, so three is an under. Exactly. All right. Let's see how many hits I can get in here. Ooh, there's a lot there. Mm -hmm. a lot of now, one of the benefits of having a leader is that you can also re-roll one of your dice when you when you're fighting or when you're defending. Ah, okay. I'll so one of this one. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Oops. If I roll it into the tray, it would help. There Three. we go. Oh, there we go. That's a hit. Also. So how many is that total? This one's right. Uh, that's six. Three, six. Eight. eight. Perfect. All right. Now, my uh, force grown drones have a defense of one. Mm -hmm. They receive a plus one bonus because of the, their shield. Mm -hmm. The shield uh, gives you plus one defense when you get a hit from the front. Mm -hmm. So if you were to flank me or if you were to uh, attack me from the rear, again, I wouldn't, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be able to use that. All right, so ones and twos. I see four successes and four gone. So I will remove an entire stand. Nice. And then as we, as we do in Conquest, for every wound that we take, mm -hmm. we roll a result test. Now, in this particular uh, case, I have a resolve of two. Mm -hmm. I get a plus one because I have a large regimen. So that, that means uh, between three and six stands. Mm -hmm. So that three is in under. That is two more. Two more. Awesome. There's one thing I like about this game is just how quickly things begin to die. <laughs> yeah. Uh, an important thing to, to know in Conquest is that result, the casualties you may be taking or the extra ones you may be taking from Resolve Test are not necessarily, does not necessarily mean that the miniatures, the, the soldiers are dead. Mm -hmm. uh, losing wounds in this game represents a lot of different things. It could be soldiers being disheartened or uh, running away. And that's something, imp that's an important thing, like, because your regiments will never run away entirely. Mm -hmm. Individual soldiers do. Yeah. Right? So if you hear let's say a uh, regiment uh, then you can bring back uh, fallen soldiers and restore stands all right so that was your two st that was your two actions that was a pr really good, good round start. yeah perfect all right so now as my first card that will be the force grown drones and now since every time I draw a card and I have multiples of that regiment mm -hmm. I get to choose which one uh, activates mm -hmm. now my thinking here is that since you activate the, the warriors I might as well try and charge first on the other flank yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and pre-measure okay with my industrial <laughs> measure tape I am a little over eight inches away mm -hmm. we always measure from closest to closest point so that's a little over eight mm -hmm. now I have a march of five and what I'm thinking to do is that I'm gonna try and risk a charge for at the berserkers mm-hmm so I will need. I have a march of five. I will need a four to me. Mm -hmm. Let's see, and a four. four. Nice. Run, run, run. Perfect. <coughs> yeah. Sorry so about that. Come and get me. <laughs> All right. So now, as we said, I have to move the minimum distance needed in order to engage as many stands as possible. Mm -hmm. And in this case, you'll notice that I'm engaging uh, the third stand of the berserkers due to my stand uh, yes. in being in contact diagonally. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So that was my first action. As my second action, I'm going to try and clash. Mm -hmm. So I have uh, one attack each, so that's 12. I have three unengaged stands, mm -hmm. so that will be 15. However, I have the support special rule, and that means that my unengaged stands support with two attacks per stand. Ah. So that will be 18 attacks total. So that's four, Oof. eight. going to hurt. 12, 16, 18. Hopefully, although I I don't... We'll see what to do. These guys are... Berserkers are elite infantry, so we'll see. Alrighty, so I have a class of one. I get a plus one to my class value because I, I'm inspired. Mm -hmm. So two's and under. Uh, that was good. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't have a leader, so I don't I don't get any re-rolls. Uh, let me see. The threes are out. Actually, that was pretty good. Yes, so good drones. Seven. When you get recycled, I'll make you into a, an abomination. <laughs> that's not how it works exactly. Yes, <laughs> so for yes, the it does. In my head, <laughs> in my head it does. For the berserkers, uh, what's my result? You have, def you have a defense of three. Three or, three or under, okay. Uh, so that will be... One, two, three, that will be four, four casualties. Four casualties, so one stand. And four resolve this. However, these guys are pretty tough. They have a resolve of five. They're not going to give up very easily, so five's and under. Uh, uh, that will be one more down. One, one more, down. one more down. Yeah. So five, so five out. dead. Uh, mm -hmm. You could start with these guys since there is the leader yeah. and center bear there. Yeah. So I think I'll take from this side first. 
Perfect. I assume that you want to leave the, the leader stand to the very end. Yeah. All right, well, that's those guys out in there. Good job. That's how that's how we do it. We roll really hot, really well. <laughs> that's my that's my strategy. <laughs> Mine? Uh huh. Hellbringer Drake. I want to play with the big toy. Yeah. All right. Of so you do. to go through to go over a little bit of what uh, Hellbringer Drake uh, the, the rules. Now we've said how how a range combat works. That you have the bar special rule and the number next to it, it uh, suggests how many shots you you can fire. Mm -hmm. And then uh, in the parentheses you'll find a range that is twenty inches in this case. And you also have the overcharge special rule. Mm -hmm. Now, in order to play with the overcharge special rule, what you do is that you can take one overcharge action per, mm -hmm. per turn. What that means is that it increases the amount of barrels by two. Mm -hmm. So the 10 will become 12, so 12 shots. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have the armor piercing rule, you, you get armor piercing one. Mm -hmm. Now from then on, you start uh, adding one point of armor piercing for every overcharge token on your, on your model. And whenever you fire with overcharge, does, does that spend it or does it just? It spends it. Okay. Right, uh, Konstantinos? Yep. I need advice. What should I be doing with this thing here right now? I think you want to avoid the charge of the abomination. Okay. So I would suggest overcharge and take some cover. Okay, I'll overcharge and... Uh, no, I'd like the other word you were trying to use. <laughs> <laughs> that was the word I wanted to use. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, the, the, uh, the, the Hellbring Drake is a, very, is a very versatile tool for the Dragon. Mm. It allows you to either, to either delay putting into the game and start charging it up to mm -hmm. deal with the heavier stuff your opponent will be bringing, mm -hmm. or you, can, you may be, uh, be in close range, overcharging and shooting into, uh, into infantry, so to start grinding them down with the armor-piercing one. Okay. Before you make your decision, I would also like to remind you two things that because it's a monster single stand, it has a 360 view, so you can move. Oh, so there's no facing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. And also, you have to remember that there will be reinforcements later on. So yeah. you want to account for that too, probably. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it <laughs> this way up the table. So it's got a move value of 8. So I'm just going to have it shimmy up behind here. All right. So that will mean that I cannot charge uh, with the abomination, mm -hmm. but with my powers of changing the rules, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, emergency update, now the abomination can fly. Uh, <laughs> now, all righty, so and that it will, was it will overcharge, which I'll just mark with a, perfect. a dice with yeah. a six. Excellent. Perfect. All righty, so that, were, that was your two actions. Now my next activation will be with the other unit of force going drones. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna inspire as my first action. Now, in inspire gives me the same bonuses that, as I would get with charging, mm -hmm. uh, meaning the plus one clash. Yep. However, it does not trigger any uh, charge specific abilities. So, if you have gotcha. brutal impact, that means uh, um, that that means, for example, you will be able to lower your your enemy's defense when you mm -hmm. charge. You don't get that, or you don't do impact attacks. You simply get the plus one clash bonus. Gotcha. All right. So here I have twelve attacks mm -hmm. plus four because of support. Mm -hmm. So that would be. Uh, I know how to count, I promise. 16. <laughs> it's 4, 8, mm -hmm. 12, 4, 16. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, I have a class of 1, plus 1, 2. 2 is an under. Do magic, my favorite drones. Good. It's not that good. So I get 5, uh -huh. 6. That's uh -huh. it. That's it. Okay, so I have 6 saves to make. Now you have a defense of two, you get a shield, so you have a defense of three. Cool. So three are under. Two are under. Oh, mm. I lose three. Wounds. Three. Yes. And then I have to test resolve. You have a resolve exactly. of two, you get a plus one because you have a large regiment. And that is another four one. So one more. Yeah. So four dead total, that's full base. So I'll just grab this guy from the back and bring him. Who's going to are on fire today? <laughs> Uh, actually, they're about to. Yeah, they're no, about they're to be on fire. <laughs> literally, they're about to <laughs> notice what's going to happen. All right, so yeah. next for me is actually my flame berserkers. All right. Mm -hmm. So they will inspire and then they will clash. So I get seven attacks. That's right. Yes. That's seven attacks with flurry. Uh, no, what does that, flurry that do? Flurry means you can't get to reroll. Oh, what, everything? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Now, in this, uh, re-roll your attacks. Now, in this mm -hmm. case, the leader will not stack with Flurry because you cannot re-roll a re-roll. Yeah. But the leader would be would be good at uh, re-rolling later on, let's say, a charge. For defensive yeah. stuff, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, oh, I should have re-rolled one for my defense. True. Let's put, let's put one back. Well, I'll roll for it. 
So no, I would have still don't feel, yeah. which is fine. Okay, uh, attacks threes and under. Mm -hmm. uh, you get to reroll the four, five, and six. Uh huh. So I've got three so far. Three hits. And then one more. And one one more. more. Just, so in. Four. just in. Just in. No, it's just yes. my, my drones are that good. We'll see how no, good they are. Really, they're not. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> All right. So I get a defense of one plus one two from the sealed. Uh, three dead. Mm -hmm. And three resolve. And three and under for resolve. Four dead. Four dead. Full stun. I'll take that. All right. Yep. And back to you, sir. Perfect. I do like how quick it, it is because you only have those two actions. Mm -hmm. You know. All right. So that's the uh, that's uh, the abomination. Yes. Now. I have uh, a few things I can do here. Uh, one is I could charge the warriors from the side, mm -hmm. and I could do some casualties there. Now, the other thing I'm thinking about doing is I'm, uh, I'm thinking about going for the objective, and that would be to secure as many cards as possible. Mm -hmm. So perhaps I would think about going about the berserker to, uh, towards the berserkers. Mm -hmm. Uh, what I'll end up doing though is hitting the warriors because my drones are, are going to need some reinforcements mm -hmm. quite soon. All right. So now I have a march of ten. Mm -hmm. uh, pre by measurement, by pre measuring, we see that I'm well within. Yeah. Even if I roll a one, I still make it. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and bring the abomination to the sides. Mm -hmm. There we go. Ouch. Now, one of the good things with a circular base in the square stance, you can always rotate the miniature if it doesn't mm -hmm. fit perfectly. All right. So the abomination hitting from the flanks. So. Before we are done with the uh, charge action, the first thing we want to do is that we want to do impact. Now remember, impact attacks are being resolved during the charge uh -huh. action. So I have 10 attacks. Half of that are going to be my impact. impact yep. I have a class of two. For the impact attacks, I do not gain any bonuses, as mm -hmm. the inspiration is for the clash action, and impact happens during the charge action. Gotcha. All right, so ones and twos. Uh, two Ooh. hits. Okay. Now, uh, you have defense of two. You do not receive the sealed bonus since you're getting hit from the, uh, from the flanks. Mm -hmm. So, and that's both uh, fail. That's both fail and two resolve tests. Uh, now, uh, one success. One success. So However, since done. you're being hit from the, f from the flank, mm -hmm. you have to reroll it. Ah. And keep in mind that you get a minus one to your resolve because of terrifying one. Yeah. And fail. For the, how many was that total? Four. 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 So, so that will be a stand. Full stand. Yep. Gone. Ouch. And now the abomination is going to be hitting with. This is the big out. <laughs> all of its, all of its yeah. attacks. So we're lunch, done with lunch, the lunch. with the charge action. Now we're on to the clash action. So mm -hmm. that's ten attacks. I have a clash of two plus one three. Mm -hmm. Three's and under with three roll because of flurry. Hold your ground, just uh, oh good. My abomination was well, not so good. Sorry, celebrating really quickly. So that's four hits, and I get to reroll the six fails. That would be <laughs> still six fails. <laughs> So four saves. Yep. So four saves. However, now you have a defensive two. You yep. do not receive the sealed bonus. But now, mm -hmm. because I, I get a cleave one, now cleave is for the clash action only. Mm -hmm. So now you have minus one to your defense because of cleave one. So once. Once. Once, that's right. Oof. It's three ones. Once. That it's is, no ones. That Fails. is uh, four casualties. Uh, and that will be... However, now you now since you have uh, a, now you're no longer a large regiment, you do not receive the plus one bonus anymore. Mm -hmm. So that you have a resolve of two minus one because of terrifying one again on once. Yeah. However, uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reroll one of That's the right. uh, things for my leader. That's right. It's a fail. It's so fail. It's still four. Uh, There's one success. There's one. So that will be seven. Uh, reroll. It's one per turn. <laughs> Uh, no, no, no. I have to reroll because you're in my flank. Uh, you're right. That's right, yeah. Uh, and again, so it was pass. a success, though. Okay. This guy just did not care. No. So, like, I do this every other So Wednesday. that's six dead? That's uh, six dead. Six dead. So that will be another stand uh -huh. and two more. Now, since you started this turn with five stands mm -hmm. and you're down to you're down to two, mm -hmm. uh, we have, we are, um, we are, uh, you're broken. Ah, uh, okay. So the next time they activate, I have to spend one of their actions to actually rally. To rally. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Now, one. Let me. T uh, c could you, uh, if you would bring back the two casualties you took from here to uh, mm -hmm. talk about a little bit about wound allocation. Mm -hmm. Now, when we are allocating casualties into the stance, first of all, we have to remove complete stance. Mm -hmm. But this is actually quite a, v a very good um, 
example. Now, the first thing we need to do is we want to keep as many uh, enemy regiments in contact as possible. Mm -hmm. So in this particular case, if we start removing from there, it means that the next two casualties will make will bring the two regiments to be unengaged. Ah. So in this case, you will actually have to remove the two troopers from this stand. I see. So these guys have to go back in. And these two come out. So the first rule of thumb is we have to keep as many enemy regiments in combat. The second rule of thumb is we have to keep as many stands from the already engaged uh, mm -hmm. uh, regiments in combat. And if that's all well and done, then we can choose from which side we're going to be removing casualties. Okay, cool. Uh, all done? Perfect, yes. All right, so I will flip. And I've got my whole ballista. Mm -hmm. Can I shoot into combat? Yes. Good. So from where they are here... They are just going to shoot right into your Perfect. force. Program. Now, the way that works, uh, just talk a little bit about line of sight. Now, what you want to do is that you want to draw an uh, unobscured line mm -hmm. between the center of one of your stands mm -hmm. and the center of another stand. Now, you have to do this for every stand firing. All three so work. All three work. Perfect. No problem. And that means uh, since nothing is obscuring that line, it means you have a clear shot. Mm -hmm. The next thing you want to do is make sure that you're within range mm -hmm. and you have a 24 inches range. That's perfect. Yeah. But what we care about is that 24 is the maximum range, but not mm -hmm. the effective range. So um, half range is effective 12, range. And I'm in. Everybody's within 12. Perfect. So that means you fire all of your shots. Mm -hmm. Even better, what you could do is that as a first action, you can aim, increasing yep. your volley by one and yep. then firing all of your shots. Perfect. I'll do that. So it's how many shots do That's, they uh, get? 12. 12 shots. 12 okay. with one reroll. There. There. So threes and under. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we do. And you get to reroll one. I'll reroll that. OK, yeah. so. No, 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 no. Some, that's a very good shot. Eight. Hey, that's great. All right, so the good news here for you is that I have a defense of one. Mm -hmm. I get plus one because of my shield. I go up to two. Mm -hmm. However, you have armor piercing one, so I'll go again down to one. Mm -hmm. So only one save. Let's see. That is one saved, and that I lose seven drones. Oof. So four. Just a reminder that there is no resolve test after a range attack. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Four. That was good. So and that's three. that's a nice bite of. Them. Yeah, that was quite a that was a stand a stand almost two stands. That was a really good shot. Mm -hmm. Let me put All the right. card. Uh, so, funsies dunsies. <laughs> Perfect. So my mm -hmm. next uh, my next card would be the marksman clones. Mm -hmm. Now, marksman clones are in quite a quite a peculiar. Um, position here because they have the arcing fire which would allow them to see over to ignore let's say one unengaged friendly stand mm -hmm. uh, in the way to in order to fire but in this case unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to do that because my friendly uh, unit is engaged so I will not be able to fire at the warriors yeah this, this is kind of why I, I chose them to go early and just get in there mm -hmm. However, the my other choice now mm -hmm. would be to see if I can fire at the Drake. Mm -hmm. Now, the reason I can do this is because the Drake is a size three regiment. Uh, the drones and the hold warriors they're fighting with are size one. Mm -hmm. So, if I'm trying to f to fire at a size three enemy regiment, the only thing that I would actually block my line of sight would be the abomination. Mm -hmm. So, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and check my line of sight. Of course, there's always pre measurement, and I want to see if I'm within range. Mm -hmm. So, I have a range of twenty eight. And they're all within. Mm -hmm. Now, the, this stand can, can see the, the drake. Mm -hmm. These stands cannot see the center of the, of the drake since the uh, abomination is, mm -hmm. is uh, in the way. Yep. However, this stand can see any other part of the drake, mm -hmm. and this stand cannot see it at all. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to try and do, I'm going to try and take a, to move to the side a little bit, so to open up my line of sight. Yep. Now, when I move sideways, I only move half of my half of my um, available march distance. So I'm going to turn them a little bit and move them two and a half okay. inches to the side. Mm. There we go. Cool. So here, two regiments can see well. One regiment can see obscured. However, I'm also obscured because of long range and obscured does not stack. Mm -hmm. So I will fire at volley two, uh, 12 shots, half of my shots. I have a barrage of two. Of two. Mm -hmm. Normally I would fire 24, half of yeah. that is 12. Perfect. Four shots. So wow. Yeah. yeah, they're really good at they're really good at taking out light infantry. But they uh, they're they're an elite unit. They're they're they cost quite a bit of points. They're very good at the early game. However, they're very fragile, mm -hmm. uh, and they're very uh, they can be countered uh, by enemy skirmishers. So there is a balance you have to find there. 
Perfect. So 12 shots at a volley of two, ones and twos. Let's see. That is, I believe, uh, five hits. Okay. That's pretty good. It's almost mm -hmm. half. Well, that was lucky. Mm -hmm. All right. So you have a defense of three. Mm -hmm. So five hits. Yeah. Five hits. That's right. Yep. All right. So threes. Oh, the threes. So that is mm. that is three wounds. Three. three wounds. No result test. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that, that was a good. That was a lucky shot on my part. Yeah, so I'll yeah. mark that with a, a three there. Yeah, three. And it has eight wounds, so it's yeah. down to five. That's right. So that was my two actions. It will be your turn. Uh, yeah. So now it's my reserves, my Inferno Automata. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So one of the things uh, that's very important in Conquest is that uh, we have to determine where our reinforcement lines are. Mm -hmm. And this is something that we usually do at the very beginning of each turn. But now for the scenario, just to show the game, we just leave it for whenever it comes up. Mm -hmm. Now, what we want to do is that we want to check our foremost regiment. And mm -hmm. by foremost, I mean your, the regiment of yours that is the closest to my table edge. So that would be this one. That would be the Warriors. Uh, then what we want to do is that we draw a line from the rearmost point. Mm -hmm. Now that line has to be parallel to our table edges, mm -hmm. and see if any of my regiments has is crossing that line. So and in this, this case, and this. the abomination and the drones have. So we disregard the warriors and we move on to the next unit, which is the uh, berserkers. Mm -hmm. So that means if we draw the line parallel, yep. we'll see that there is a line drawn from about here yep. to about there, mm -hmm. and that means that you, your reinforcement can come in. From your from your from your side of the table, mm -hmm. or from the flanks of the table up to this point. So it's almost as if your reinforcement were waiting mm -hmm. outside the table, waiting to just walk in. Yeah, and this is sort of the the area that we've secured up exactly. to that point. Uh, I think I'm going to bring them in from the the side. Perfect. And I'm going to bring them in from this side. Perfect. So the easiest thing to, w to think about it is that they you have to spend a march action to to walk in. Mm -hmm. They have a march action of eight. Mm -hmm. You also get a fluid formation special rule, which means you get to have a free reform as a first or a last action. Now, during, of course, here you wouldn't be able to do it as a first action because you have to march in. Yeah. So what you could do is that you can, given that you cannot charge during the first turn, mm -hmm. you can march twice and then use fluid formation to reform for free. Uh, I will, which with a, a move of 16 total will allow me to get them up to about here. Mm -hmm. And the free and the free reform will help you maneuver as you like. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And that'll do for that. Great. So that that leaves me with my final card, which in the, which will be the brood drones. Now again, I have to check for my foremost regiment. That's the drones. The warriors have crossed uh, mm -hmm. that line. Then the next foremost is the abomination. Mm -hmm. The line behind it is not um, uh, uh, obscured mm -hmm. by anybody. So I'm going to bring interrupted, interrupted by anybody. So I'm going to bring my drones. I have a march of six, and I'm going to try and march them from the sides. Mm -hmm. At about at about here. Okay. Thinking a little bit longer game, perhaps uh, during my third turn, I might be able to to counterattack at some at some places. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So that was my two actions, and then. Uh, now we're all, are we all out of cards? We're all out of cards, yeah. Perfect. And then we pick up our cards mm -hmm. and we make our command stacks again. Pretty fast for first round. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Uh, how do I want so to do this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I agree with your beginning. The rest I leave to you. I can do all the, the work the for you, Justin. The secret to arranging <laughs> your command stack properly is having extra cards in your pocket. <laughs> so um, if you see it in slow replay, <laughs> I'm pulling the card, the exact so card that th I want. This is why we're wearing short sleeves today. <laughs> uh, command stack is made. Perfect. Now, you are now on fire. Uh, exactly. Now, one of the uh, one of the rules we're going to be seeing today is Aura of Death. Mm -hmm. And given how the Berserkers and the Automata are quite literally on, on fire, yeah. and even worse uh, for when it comes to the Berserkers, they choose to, mm -hmm. I guess now we understand why it's a resolve of five. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, so and uh, I ha what I have to do, mm -hmm. I have to roll, I have I take a hit mm -hmm. for every one of my stands that is in contact with an enemy stand that has the Aura of Death special roll. So from here I can see you've got one, two, three, and it's how many of you are in contact. How many of mine, exactly. Yeah. So no, how many of mine. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Uh, so I have uh, three, three I have three, 
and you have and I have three hits. I have to take I have to take defense, uh, sealed counts. So I'm taking them from the front. So that will be two more out. Ouch. And do you take resolve on this? Yes. Berserkers. Yeah. Resolve. Nice. I know. <laughs> two resolve tests. Uh, one, one is good. One, one more is out. out. There we go. Yeah. Now they can just sit there and just be toasty. Yeah, they <laughs> can. <laughs> they're warming up now, yeah. like this. All right, <laughs> so uh, let's roll to see who gets the initiative. Yes, I'll be rolling a five. I'll be rolling a two. Good. Perfect. Awesome. Uh, so I will start with the automata. And they are going to go directly for a charge at that. And they'll probably make it. <laughs> because it, uh, you have a march of eight. eight. Yeah. Even so if you roll the one, that's. Yeah. So. They'll go mm -hmm. like so. Perfect. And I think I've only got, oh no, I've only got two in contact. Uh, you have two in contact, yes. But given how the the, the drone stand is blocking. In, is, is blocking the way, you would come about here and you you would have two stands engaged and one supporting. So I get impact attacks for those two, yeah? Exactly. So Excellent. you have four attacks uh, each. That will be only two impact attacks. So two per engaged uh, yeah. um, stand and one supporting. Mm. So oh, five one total. for support. All right. Pass. So even though he's not engaged, mm -hmm. he can still support. Yeah, he, he's he's part of the charge. He's mm -hmm. he's part of the momentum to to charge. Got it. Good. All right. So I'm rolling five dice total here. Mm -hmm. uh, class of three. Mm -hmm. Three is under. Oh. Let's see. If that's more like it. That'll that's three. Uh, that's three, three hits. Them. Perfect. I have a defense of th of three as well. That will be two wounds. And of course, two resolve tests. Let me mark it with a die there. Mm -hmm. And two resolve tests. I have a resolve of four. Damn. Oh, good. <coughs> it doesn't care. Yeah. However, now I get nine attacks. Nine I think attacks. if I've done the math right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Four, eight, and one supporting nine. Mm -hmm. uh, this time, fours. That's right. If you have a class of three, you get a plus one for inspiration bonus, so that's four. Four okay. under. Yep. Let's see. Just then. <laughs> It's just a what? keep rolling uh, high. Five, five, take five. five. Again, defense of three. Four sixes. Rolling of three. This was a two. Uh, so I have one fail. Damn. And one result test. Uh, again, again, I'm good. Okay. So four. Damn it. This is no ordinary abomination. I might, I might say. No, no. You put in the the premium biomass to make that. Yeah, it's uh, it's the good, the good, it the, has good all the, all the good stuff. It's like pour it, you know, <laughs> biomass and everything nice. <laughs> so you should just put everything in there. <laughs> nice. Uh, so the marksman clones. Uh huh. All right. Um, I'm quite surprised that you went with them first. Uh, yeah. Well, I wanted to. I wasn't exactly sure when I, where I'm going to strike first. Mm -hmm. uh, so what I was hoping to do actually is to put some uh, shots into the autom the automata, mm -hmm. and um, I mean it didn't work out before you charged me, so I might as yeah. well just try it now. Now once again, I'm going to shoot uh, into combat mm -hmm. over the the, sp the drones and the uh, and the warriors, and that's because you, uh, the automata is a size two, mm -hmm. whereas all the infantry in between is a size one. Cool. So I see you over them. Let me see how What's far. What's their range, though? They are within short range. Uh oh. <laughs> so the automata is gonna. F they're gonna fire in this in the shade. That's so such a bad reference. <laughs> uh, this is gonna hurt. All right. So There's no. Sh they produce the light, man. <laughs> like they're so on fire. They're on fire. Yeah. <laughs> so that will be eight, 16, 24 shots, aimed. Oh God. Go for that. It. Would actually it wouldn't be very hard to aim. Like fire at wherever is the brightest. Yeah. Like. Yeah. <laughs> See that that point that is literally on fire, yeah. fire in it. Well, you know the the old saying, uh, "Hold your fire till you see the whites of their eyes." You know, <laughs> that hold your fire till you see the fire of their eyes. The fire <laughs> of their eyes. Yeah, mm -hmm. that actually, that worked quite well. All right, so one, two, three, threes. Eek. Oh. A lot of. Oh no, it wasn't that bad. Yeah. So let me. All things considered. Uh, uh, do you see any other fail? Uh, yeah, there's five here. Here. There's another. So. So these are uh, four, mm -hmm. eight, and three, eleven. Ouch. That's the defense of three, three is an under. Yeah, three is an under. Each one has four wounds. Plus the special rule that the arrows burn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not uh, bad. One, two, four failures. So four failures, so that's one out and one resolve. One resolve? Yeah, uh, one four. resolve, a uh, resolve test. Yeah, so four resolve tests. 
Ah, uh, so you have a resolve. Wait, why resolve? Range. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. So it's just I, I was carried away. See, see, yeah, 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 you were yeah. carried away. Right, I know so what you're trying to do, Leo. I'm trying to cheat my way online, <laughs> cheat my way to victory online. What? What is it? <laughs> What's so weird about this? Oh, okay, yeah. mine then. Uh huh. I'm going with Berserkers. flame berserkers because they may die soon. But if I can take you out quickly, it'll be good. That's that's very true. So that's seven attacks. Seven attacks. Inspired. Yes. Yeah. So, go, 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 under. go. Mm -hmm. uh, no, force, force force under. With flurry. Set them on on fire with flurry. Justin, <laughs> we talked about this. Justin, yeah, like a. <laughs> like, like so I did get to reroll one. You have flurry. You, you have flurry. You reroll everything. Oh, yeah. Go for it. Okay. That's much better. That's okay, so that's six hits total. That's it. I think six. That's right. So that's four plus two, six. Yeah. All right. So two is under. Oh my god. Three failures, three success. Three guys around. I'll take it. Some good rolling today, man. And then resolve. And resolve. That's right, resolve. They're all gonna fail, don't worry about it. If they do, actually, that'll be quite interesting. I'll tell you why. Uh, ah! One more fails. One more. Ugh. Now, the thing is that at this point I'm broken, I'll tell you why. Uh, what, during the supremacy phase, mm -hmm. the round has already started, and right. I started with four stands. Mm -hmm. uh, one stand was removed because of Aura of Death, mm -hmm. and another stand was removed because of your uh, yep. because of your clash. So I'm down to two, and these guys are broken now. Mm -hmm. If you had removed two more, I would have been broken, then broken again, so I would oh. have been shattered, ah. and all the entire regiment would have gone. I see. So the the, the round starts right after you complete your, your yeah your stack your stack that's right got it all right Earth. so that was uh that was a good hit mm -hmm. my turn to play now since the berserkers have already played i'm gonna go for the force ground drones here yeah. uh to the side now i'm gonna inspire as a first action i'm gonna attack as my second action that will be um 12 14 16. Mm -hmm. for some reason i'm having a lot of trouble calculating the same amount of attacks <laughs> <laughs> so that's, these are 12 16. I can explain to you the reason, but... <laughs> He's mean to me. <laughs> what, does he, he beat you when you're off camera? No, yeah. no, never physical. <laughs> it, it's, it's, <laughs> oh, I see. The, it's Zion, you're, you're the, the evil master. Every, ta of every time I'm on an expo or do an interview or something, it's like, you're never good enough. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never do anything in your life. Uh, we always have that I person don't in do our life. <laughs> I don't do that, though. No, That's a lie. You see, Late you, you see not a camera. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> so class of one plus one two because of variation. Yeah. <laughs> two is an under. Uh, that was not very good. Excellent. Four, so that was one two. Three, see, four, three, four, four, four hits. Four. Okay. You know something? These hits though, they were good hits. They were accurate, mm -hmm. and they will kill four of your warriors. <laughs> they will not. So I'm sorry. Yes, they will. Three or less. No, three or less. Uh, two. Kill two. three. However, not just any two. That is true. Yeah. Nice. Wait, he gets to reroll. He gets one reroll. Yeah. Save one. Save one. <laughs> no, don't. No, don't. No, don't. Alright. Uh, yes, yes, there we go. Now you have an even. Uh, now the choice is even worse, though. You have to choose whether you want to kill the bannerman or the. Explain to the man leader. what each does. So the, the we'll banner use, we'll is letting both. me reroll <laughs> charge. That's right. And the leader is letting me reroll one in combat. It's obviously going to be the banner. Yeah. So, bye bye, banner. There we go. For uh, now, because I didn't, is this to do a gone way of removing the banner? What he would their What uh, would their argument? I, I still have a result to take as well. The That's leader true. is worth more th more than the bannerman. He has earned oh, the right fails, to be a leader, and he dies. Well, well <laughs> not for long. But not for long. <laughs> <laughs> but he did earn no. the right to be the leader. Yeah. I'm out of here, <laughs> and that unit is now broken. They're broken. That's right, because you started with two stands, and you're down to one. That was my two actions. Uh, next one for me is the actually the whole warriors. So uh, now that you're broken, uh, your first action has to be a rally. Now mm -hmm. that's an automatic uh, mm -hmm. action. However, you know the the thing is that when you start taking a lot of casualties, the fact that you you have one action taken away from you yeah. is quite important. Yeah, so now, how many wounds does the abomination have total? It has a total of ten. Uh, you've done four. Okay, total of four. And total of ten, and you've done four. Yeah. yeah. So now I, I have an interesting choice because I, I can either mm -hmm. continue wheeling on these or I can try and really load into the Abomination, which I think might be the better option. Uh, I think hitting the Abomination will be better. Uh, you have 
more tools to deal with the uh, yes yeah like you you can you already have an overcharged Drake at this point yeah so actually <laughs> actually I think the overcharged Drake would be quite actually quite the uh, the tool to finish it off okay uh, off. Well, case, I'm not sure if it would be enough though yeah I think I'm I'm g just gonna lay those right. extra four in there because mm -hmm. if, if I come up one short that would be bad yeah 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 so four into the abomination mm. two to under. Good choice. That and because the drums have proved to be just the best unit in the game. <laughs> uh, two hit. Two hit. That's right. No reroll. Over it. Let's see. No reroll. Does the abomination care? It, it does. does. Yes, it does care. It does care. And two resolve on four. It, it cares. cares quite a lot. So it loses three from that. That was very. I good. think that was worthwhile. For a yeah. minute there, I was looking at seven on a d six. Huh? I was looking for a seven. <laughs> Are we are we d are we going back to that explaining we were talking about I'm earlier? I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm there. Okay, uh, so that's them done. Perfect. All right. So that was seven wounds in the abomination, three left, and now it's the abomination's turn to play. Yeah. And say hi to the automata. All right. It's going to swing for the automata and mm -hmm. not finish off the others. I mean, the drones are, a, the, the, dr the drones are tanking it. So yeah, I guess. <laughs> Just kidding. They, yeah, it's going to go for the um, for the automata. Uh, my thinking here is I'm in combat with. Uh, I mean, my thinking here is that I might be able to, to hurt the uh, mm -hmm. the worst in the and take the card later on. However, the automata are a lot tougher. Mm -hmm. it might be harder for me later on. So uh, yeah. I might as well just use my abomination while I still have it to hit yeah, as hard as I can. To go. So five ten. I uh, inspire class of three threes and under with re rolls. And a good thing that I do have the re rolls. Yep. Uh, seven hits. Well, three, hit, three, hits, three hits, seven rerolls. Seven rerolls. Re oh, look at you. Seven. Mm. <laughs> Called it. Called it. All right. So, so seven defense rolls. You have a defense of uh, three, minus one, because of cleave one, mm -hmm. two. So two and under. Two and under. Oh. Just a save two. Take five. 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 And so five resolve. Five plus. resolves. Uh, we have a resolve of three, minus one, because of terrifying one, two. Uh, one more. Oh no, no, no. They're gone? Uh, unfortunately, yes. Yeah. They are gone. And one card. Thank you very much. Uh, I will be the keeper of cards. <laughs> uh, he doesn't want to give it to me. That's the, yeah. that's what <laughs> I end up doing. <laughs> the, the, up in that's what's <laughs> that, this is what we'll end up doing. <laughs> happening. Uh, all right. So next for me. Perfect. Is the whole ballista. And they are just going to lay on into those uh, unactivated force grown drones. So it'll be 12 shots. Three, four, now, if you take out two, everybody, everybody's out because they were already broken. Eight. I haven't rallied them this turn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So aim, so threes and under. That's right. Threes and under. That's a good shot. And I get to reroll one mm -hmm. from earlier. Right. Sound hit. Excellent. Now, how many ones? Miss. Pause here Miss. and comment below. How many ones <laughs> do you think That's I can roll? That's eight. I'm not going to mention what I've done during our US trip. Uh -huh. Yeah, where, where that was, there was one game that that uh, I have defied the laws of <laughs> two brutes <laughs> charged a crossman, one a single crossman, and I rolled seven ones. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, now this crossman is on leave. He will never have to fight again. <laughs> He's earned the right. Uh, not enough ones. So <laughs> nope. The so more than two are gone. <laughs> so the unit goes. I don't think that's the problem. <laughs> I don't think it's the, w the problem is that you got shattered. Yeah. Uh, can we please have your card, sir? When I draw it, uh, I, saw, <laughs> I saw discard it. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. Next. That was a good shot. Yeah. All right. So uh, now since these guys have played. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. You're Shane. welcome. The score oh. is 1-1, one, one, gentlemen. And I discard, <laughs> 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 I discard the one card. I draw my next one. Yeah. That's the Brood Drones. I think this is working out perfectly for what I wanted to do this round. The Brutes are going to be brooding. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to... I'm going to march 6, and then I'm going to charge. I'm going to be able to... I'm not going to be able to attack you, but I'm going to be able to do some impact. Okay. So I'll go for it. So... Yeah, my, let let me, I'm going to use my industrial list. measure tape. <laughs> <laughs> I keep, I keep. You're very entertained by this. Yeah, <laughs> I know. It's like I was building IKEA shelves before I started. <laughs> I started. No product placement. 
If do you see it here? <laughs> <laughs> if I if I had the shelf, no other I mean, product placement. <laughs> if I was like my <laughs> IKEA shelf, these, these are not IKEA. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm eight inches away. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna. I need. I need a two, and it will be better if I rolled it yeah. here. You That's a four. Perfect. Send them in. Let's go. Oh. Now we don't care for the distance uh, traveled as long as we as long as the. You the sum of the roll it. and the marts yeah. is enough to make it. Uh, yeah. Perfect. So that would be now all of my guys are engaged. So they have five attacks each. Uh, impact is half of that, rounded up. Mm -hmm. so, so nine, nine. impact. Okay. okay. This could wipe them out. Six, nine. To be very honest, I don't think that it, it will because I have a class of two and I don't get the inspiration bonus because it's only impact. Ah, uh, yes. And you have a defense of three, so that's. Mm -hmm. good. It's going to be oh, that's a pretty decent chance for you to live here. So, uh, three, three hits. Three, three hits. Okay. Three hits there, so three defense rolls. You have a defense of three. Mm -hmm. yep. That'll um, be one out and one result test. Oh, five or lower, which is fine. So just one so guy. So one guy, yeah. Boop. Okay. Perfect. All right, so that will be. Uh, no, no. I have one more. Last activation. Yeah. That's what I was about ah, to say. All right. So it is the Hellbringer Drake. The Hellbringer Drake. It's going to overcharge again. Uh huh. So two overcharge tokens yep. on it <laughs> and lay waste. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm actually going to be clever about it. So I'm actually going to take my volley action to shoot first and then overcharge. All right, all right. Okay, so then if you volley with one overcharge uh, token on you, mm -hmm. that means you have a plus two uh, shots. So that will be uh, bars 12. Mm -hmm. And since you don't have the uh, armor piercing rule, you'll gain armor piercing one. Mm -hmm. And I'm within 10. Perfect. So full shots. So 12 shots. 12 shots. You have the volley of two. So two's and under. Mm -hmm. this, is, this might hurt. My flush. But if you roll like Justin. Yes. Justin. Justin. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and three. All right. But so armor piercing one, which is that's right. Gonna be really now I have a, I have a defense of uh, three minus mm -hmm. one. I'm gonna up to two. Three Ooh. wounds though. All of them wounded. Actually, I have seven. That's enough to kill the abomination. Perfect. And it goes Good. down. It goes down. Oh, look what happened. It goes down in flames. Mm -hmm. The score is now 2 to 1. And then I will overcharge again. Let's take a minute and tell us the how, how, are you, how much are you enjoying the fact that I'm losing? <laughs> uh, uh -huh. You know I write, but words cannot describe. <laughs> <laughs> words cannot describe. <laughs> cannot describe my, my, my euphoria right my euphoria. now. All right, so I'm down to three cards. Take three hits. That's yep. That's very true. <laughs> Defense of four. I should have rolled it in there. Yep. Roll in there. <laughs> Roll in there. <laughs> oh, all three. Three was all. Five. Exactly to remove one. I'll, I'll remove this guy. Burn it to the grind, boys. Just by being there. Just by being there. Okay, I was so going to say this is how cool they are, but it's kind of ironic. Now I have to roll off. Uh, <laughs> yes. And... Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna roll a two. Oh, what if I roll in the thing? A one. Nice. Uh, you have one less card. I get yeah. That's so tie re-roll. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. I have yeah. one less card. Thank Although you. you did not declare beforehand if you wanted uh -oh, a plus a six. three. You did not declare beforehand if you wanted a plus one or a minus one on your roll. Ah, I'm very, I'm very, uh, I'm let's inclined to give it to Justin. Let's reset to the start of that. Would you like there a plus we go. one or a minus, minus one? one. I'm, I'm, I'm going to roll it a three. Okay. <laughs> so that works as a one, and I get nah. a five. So after you, Leo. Perfect. Always play fair. Yeah, I I agree with that. <laughs> ah, I thought that might be the way this was going to go down. So straight into them. Yeah, but one of them is already out, so. Yeah, I know. That was lucky. Let's see. Inspire. I'm, I'm very sure that our audience love the fact that you do this right next to your microphone. Yeah. I'm sure they're loving it. Yeah, my, yeah. my video editor probably just went, ah. <laughs> That's true. Sorry about, I'm sorry about that, everyone. So a class of two plus one, class of three, uh, with the reroll because flare. That is one, two, three, four, three. That's right. And I get to reroll these. Nice. 
that Oof. is three, three more. more. So seven total. Seven total, that's right. You can do it. You can do it, Justin. Hold your Justin, ground. You, you can do it. I'd rather you <laughs> not doing it. All right, three to the uh, that is four, five. Five. five that go. is five. Reroll go. one. We roll one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, true. We roll one. We roll one. That yeah. is four. Four. That's fine. And uh, four result four resolve for five and under. Excellent. Fine. So four are out. Yep. So, so everyone but the You have to remove the two. You have to remove the complete stand, and then you have to remove the two troopers from Yeah. Let here. me help from there. This is final round. I know. Mm -hmm. And I did not manage to remove that card. No, you did not. Question, are they broken? Yes, they are. Okay. Because they started the turn with two uh, sands, and now they're down to one. Okay. This is fine. Okay, uh, my flip then. So mm -hmm. I'm starting to bidding with the Flame Berserkers. All right. I kind of hoped to get more than two attacks with them. So Still. Rally and... Um, yeah, rally and attack, twos are under. Uh, get ah, one. one. Yeah. Yeah, it might do something. Actually, both. They have, they have a class of three. Ah. Oh, yeah. So it's both. Uh, one wound. Mm -hmm. One result. One result. Oh, good. That's fine. So, so just one wound. That's fine. They're done. We kindly exchange a few <laughs> wounds between each other. Force Grand Drones. We're having the last argument. That's there we go. That's right. Now I'm going to try my best to finish them. To finish them. Yeah. Uh, now I have one one extra stand being engaged. So in this case, I would have four, eight, mm -hmm. ten, twelve, fourteen attacks. So four. Uh, 12 plus 2, 14. I have a class of 1. I inspire the first action, so class of 1 plus, plus 1, that's class of 2. Uh, that is uh, 2, 5 hits. So 5 defense rolls for you. Okay. So 3s. Mm -hmm. nope. That's 2, two fails, yeah. 2 guys out. And, and 2 resolves. Two resolve. resolve 2. Yes! No problem. They stand. They stand. This is where the sad music now comes in. The sad, the, the, the spire like yeah. violin. <laughs> no, which no, I no. would not want to think <laughs> yeah. about. So, so what it's made the from. way you do this is you do this. The, the, you know, the, the tiniest you know this little is? violin, yeah. This is the world's saddest song, yeah. but on the world's smallest violin. <laughs> oh, well. Harshness, I know. I, we, I we thought you were the host. Like, who are we? <laughs> Let hey. me do the trust. That's why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> like that's literally. That's why I'm standing in this room right now. Oh well. What can we do? All right, my flip. Uh, you nothing. We can win. Uh, well, the next See? up is the Hellbringer Drake. It's already overcharged. It will overcharge again, mm. and then fire at these. This is why I did it that way, right? Yep. That was that was so very good. Twelve shots. So uh, it was it. It was already overcharged. Yeah. And yes. So you overcharge again. So it's Just fourteen, 14 shots. shots. Oh right. And now your armor piercing one became armor piercing two. Seven. Armor piercing two. That's pretty good. Yeah. These guys are only going to be uh, saving on twos and under. So. Right. That's going to be doing some damage. So you have a volley of two. Yeah. Uh, ones and twos. Yeah. So ones and twos. That's three. Ish. But you can always count on Justin to roll like Justin. <laughs> yeah. True. Let you do it. Yeah. Justin. Fail, fail. <laughs> Fail. Fail. Five. I'll take it. Okay, we have these guys then. Yes. And we're one card ahead. Yes. Ones and twos. Ones and twos. Ones and twos. <laughs> <laughs> and we're from the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Ones and twos. <laughs> Ones and twos. Nope. Fail. Oh, three. three so fail. I'm, up, I'm up to four. This guy didn't, didn't die. Mm -hmm. And uh, then resolve. Uh, no, from shooting. No, no, it's oh, shooting. Yes. Dip. Uh, it's back to you then, sir. I'm well, a little disappointed, Justin. Marks my corner. I, I was hoping to do better. I think next time so I would have the overcharge, then I would aim and shoot, yeah. which I think would have been so a better option. What I'm going to do, I'm going to aim and fire all of my shots on the Hellbringer Drake from mm -hmm. the, from 28 Currently inches has away. Five wins left. Yes. Everybody's in. How lucky can I be? We'll see. For Tune in for the next episode of <laughs> Leo trying to be lucky. On rolls. <laughs> So, uh, one, two, or three, because I aimed. So, uh -huh. one, two, three. Two, three. Not too bad. Not too bad. Not bad. I don't think I'll Six, bring it down. I don't think seven. I'll bring it down. That's, uh, that's seven, yeah. Yeah, okay. Honestly, you should have gone for these two. Well, I cannot. Oh, because true. Because these are engaged. Engaged, true. So, threes. Oop. I take one. These are five. 
three, four, five. Huh? And he has taken three. Yeah. It just took five, so it's dead. It goes down. Uh, because of tax reasons, this stays with me, however. <laughs> the Hail the Mary of all art shots. <laughs> Uh, thank you for clearing the way so we can find these yeah, guys. Yeah, I'm good with this. I'm good, I'm good with this. <laughs> Gentlemen, okay. the score is 2-2. Two, two. Four <laughs> Ballista are going to fire from here with aim into them. Are they within 12? They are. Yeah. Full shots. Go, 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 go. <coughs> I mean, I'm impartial as a judge. Impartial, yeah. <laughs> That's good. Justin, I would like to remind you that there is no resolve test here, so you have to do it all at once. Yeah, yeah. Oh. One, two, and threes. I got a reroll. That's pretty good. Yes, yes, good. That was good. These two are out. And there's a six in there. The so the rest is right. enough. If you, you have armor piercing one, I have a defense of four. So that's minus one. That's three. Three is an under. <laughs> Stop doing this. <laughs> it's a habit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I keep doing this. So. One, two. That's five, which means pretty much I have one guy. Four and one, f five and four more wounds. Only here. one more wound. Oh. So I am broken, but I'm not shattered. Yeah. Yeah. And that means I have one more card left, which is the warriors. Yes, and they'll just quickly take two attacks. <laughs> they will unengage. Come here. If the, if, no, hang on. If I unengage, he gets to swing at me, does he not? Yeah. It depends. Yeah. You have to roll a resolve test. Yeah, and depending on whether you pass or fail, it, it, we have to do, we'll have to see yeah. how many uh, hits we we'll take. Two, so yeah, yeah. So that's uh, two hit hits. Both. Now you hit. Yeah. <laughs> hit rolls. You both kill. Uh three out. So let me put this guy here. Yeah. And one stands out. Okay, and um, that is game. This game two two. Well two two, but I am severely battered. <laughs> I've uh, I've taken yeah I've taken a lot of a lot of beating actually, actually if this game would would have continued I think the I don't think it would they, he would probably die just yeah the, this guy this would have gone away simply a from aura of death quite mm -hmm. possibly and then um, and then of mm. course these guys are better in combat than the drones regardless of whether we saw it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. or not and the same with the uh, with the brutes with a uh, berserker so. Yeah. You see, the, the trick for me would be I would then have to finish this up. These guys would have to survive here, and then these would try and swing up, maybe get into your mm -hmm. flank, while these move forward to start laying shots in. Interesting game, though. Yeah, yeah. it was. It was a uh, close game. I mean, he was lucky with your shot to take you out the yeah. to take out the Drake. Yeah, yeah. And you were unlucky in not taking out by one wound this yeah. brute. Yeah. Close game, though. Yeah. Let's All right, everybody, tell you what, drop your comments down below. Tell us what do you think of the new Dwagon faction. Uh, we'll move on. We'll see you again soon. We hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.